Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. All right. Oh boy, you guys. There's definitely a block here. There's definitely a block here. You're Somebody here in this connection is having issues detaching from something. And they are having those difficulties detaching because of some form of fear or illusion. Or for some of you all, this person is numbing and trying to suppress their feelings. It could be numbing and suppressing their feelings due to drugs, alcohol, some form of addictive behavior here. Uh, it's like the memories of you and this person, like somebody's going through a lot of pain and agony right now and they're not able to reach you or they're not able to communicate that with you. So there's obviously some form of like emotional distance or or maybe even physical distance from for you all. So maybe you live at a distance from this person. There could be physical or emotional distance. Or you may even have this person blocked, but they think about you continuously. And regardless of whether or not you talk to this person every day or not, they are thinking of you and they're doing it's giving me like King of Cups energy where someone with the moon could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But this person is dealing with someone, or oh, I don't even know why I said someone. Maybe they are. But they're dealing with some emotions, I feel like, about you. And they're going through a lot of pain and a lot of agony. And they're trying to desensitize those emotions and those feelings. And they have a lot of healing to do. Okay? They don't feel whole. This person is unawakened here. They have feelings of loss, and they're but they're in denial. They're in denial about what's going on between the two of you. Or like, oh, look at this, physically blocking and ignoring the connection. This literally says physically blocking and ignoring the connection. Crazy. I didn't even read that. Yeah. Yeah, somebody here is in, in an, at an in-between stage where they are in the energy of being awakened and, and not being awakened. They're like in the middle. They're stuck. It's like they're refusing to let go of you or the connection completely, right? And they don't know how to let go because they love you. They think about you. They miss you. They're in pain and agony. And this person is trying to appear that they're going about their day and they're fine and everything is dandy, but everything is not dandy because they're either, like I said, yeah, this person is stuck in a situation they can't get themselves out of because they're either stuck out in it out of fear or they're definitely, they have some healing to do, or there's a situation here or a person that they can't let go of. So now all this person can offer you is something very small. And this person, I feel like is stuck in the agony of like the connection being being put on pause or being blocked of some sort here. I could be talking to someone here who, who could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Okay. Scorpio or Sagittarius energy. But see, this is what Spirit is saying. Somebody has the power of free will. Either you or your divine masculine has the power of free will here. You, This person can independently, independently, I feel like this person knows they can independently take action. They can take their, their, make their own decision. But it's almost like this person is being influenced by something, some situation, or some person. And they're not taking this action. They're not exercising this right of free will. Some of you guys could like a bald eagle could be significant for you or or like the, this is like the, the, the strength and courage symbol or animal. I feel like this person does not have the capacity to make their own decisions because they are experiencing some constraint from other people that could be concerned about what other people are thinking here what they're saying. So this person is meanwhile just going to live in agony, I feel like. Yeah, for some of y'all, this person is stuck to a karmic. It says, I know I'm settling if I'm not with you, but I feel I am stuck because I am afraid of change. Yeah, I'm afraid of what you, what I used to have, even if it's not enough for, enough for me. I'm working on feeling deserving of you. Okay, the number 19 could be significant or the number nine 
or the number 44. Then we have, I'm devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it. See, the thing is, this person feels like you are a big part of their future and they want you to be part of their future. But collective, I feel like this person is just not able to do it because they're stuck in another situation. And that situation is in between them, you know, whatever situation that this is, that they are stuck in or whatever these constraints are, it has this person stuck in limbo. They're in a really, really fucked up place right now. So, yeah. Chaser energy. They, this is crazy. This person is so confused and they feel so empty and lost without you. So this person is going through a dark night of the soul right now, or maybe you're feeling like this. But like I said, this person is going through a lot of agony. They feel hopeless. They're blaming themselves or this person feels unwanted. But I feel like this is his own person's doing because they're afraid to come out of this karmic energy. Yeah, there goes that Sagittarius energy. I said a lot of things I should not have said. I said them out of anger and fear. Okay, sometimes I say things without even thinking I'm sorry for hurting you with my words. So for some of you all, you know, this person, the way they express their feelings is for them to be angry and upset at you and say hurtful things because they don't know how to speak out of, they feel like if they share their true feelings with you, it's just not enough. You know, this person doesn't feel like they're enough. They have a lot of healing to do and they, if they're going through dark night in the shadow right now. They're not, um, they don't feel enough courage. You know, they don't really know what's going on between, they don't know what's going on within themselves right now. They're very confused. Okay. There's a, yeah, see this person's going through a lot of, I feel like there are a lot of people in this person's energy collective persuading this person about how things are supposed to look when they're with their person. Or this person that cares about what status is or how something looks, money, power, whatever it is. There's just somebody here who's awakened and there's somebody who is not. Okay? I'm just going to tell you that now. Mm. Um, somebody here could be an Aquarius or a Pisces. All right. Somebody's birthday could be February the 7th or March 19th. Show me more here for this. Yeah. So how show me how this divine masculine is feeling, this chaser. How is the chaser feeling? Yeah, they want a new beginning with you. This person wants to run after you. They could be an Aries here or an Aquarius. This person wants to run after you, they or they want to run away from whatever situation that they feel attached to. They want to take a risk, but they're afraid. Show me more about this chaser's energy. Ooh, Ten of Swords. This person is afraid of, 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 yeah, they're afraid of a karmic. Look at that, Queen of Swords. This person is afraid of a karmic. They're afraid that they walk away and run away from this karmic, that they're going to be very vindictive. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Scorpio energy at the bottom of the day. The death card. Yeah. Wow. Show me more here about the chaser's energy. They could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Ooh. Gemini energy is here and Taurus energy is here with the Hierophant and the Magician. I feel like there is a spiritual lesson here. This person is doing everything that they can to manifest you. For some of you all, this person may, if they're involved with a karmic, this person may very well be committed to somebody else here. And they feel like they just just can't make this move here. But, they're, but see, the thing is, this person is, is like feeling overwhelmed, confused, seven of cups, ten of wands. Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands. They're confused. They don't know what the fuck to do. They want to try to manifest you and do what it takes. I feel like somebody here could be doing, this Queen of Swords could be doing magic or could have threatened your person. If you were to ever leave, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to you or 
I'm going to take X, Y, Z from you or something of that nature here. But then your person knows there's a decision here that needs to be made because they're miserable. Because it's like they are desensitizing themselves so much. For some of you, all this person is like popping pills doing drugs, you know, or drinking a lot or like running to addictive behavior. For some of you all, it could be sex addiction, sleeping with other people. And all they're doing is just, they could, they're trying, they're doing everything they can to feel something, but they're, but those things are actually counterproductive. It's working against them. It's working against them. All right. Abundance. What else do we have here? I feel like somebody's finances. See, this person wants to apologize to you, but I feel like they haven't come towards you to apologize. They want to hear from you, but I feel like they're waiting for their finance to get finances to get a little bit better here. Twin flame energy. Yeah, this person is moving in slow motion because they are working through something when it comes to their finances, okay? I want you guys to know that. This person does actually does not want you to move on to new love. They're afraid that you may be moving on to somebody new. They want to reconcile with you, but they are really afraid. Look at this. Release and let go. This person is afraid that you, you're done. They're afraid that it might be too late with this release and regret energy here. This person is afraid that it's too late to actually show you how you feel, show you how they feel. King of Cups and the Moon. Remember I was saying, like, I feel like somebody's hiding their feelings and they're just like doing everything they can to suppress that. For some of you all, like I said, it's through sex, it's through what, yeah, see, leap of faith. Somebody here set up boundaries with this person. Again, a lot of y'all feel like there's a karmic here, but I feel like this person their car for those of you who resonate with the storyline of their there being a karmic this karmic said i will do x y and z they've threatened your person if you move towards a new beginning with this other person or you leave and i don't even really feel like they made it about you this karmic trust me this karmic knows they can sense something <clears throat> yeah I feel like it's meant for you. Yeah, see, this person wants to disconnect. For a lot of you all, this person wants to disconnect from somebody that they're connected to, that they're committed to. For some of y'all, this person could be married here. We have unplug and marriage. Listen, I mean, I don't even feel like I really have to tell you this, but you gotta trust and allow this to happen the way it's supposed to happen and move on i feel like a lot of you all are going to are already in the energy of letting this go you know your person has not awakened you know they're sitting in fear you know they love you you know what they want but like they're just not ready they have some growing up to do they have some decisions to make show me what else Stability, you know, stability wanted to come out so bad. I feel like this person is concerned about their stability and what they can bring towards you, or if this karmic is like gonna has threatened, especially if the karmic has threatened this person. So, what has this karmic threatened this person? What has this karmic threatened this person? Like, what are they threatening? To do if this person leaves the tower yeah they're threatening again scorpio energy they're threatening to blow this whole person's world up if they leave they're like if you leave you're never your finances are never going to be the same i will ruin you i will put you on spousal support i'll put you on child support or i will tell everybody whatever it is this person is threatening to cause chaos and conflict in this person's life if they leave it's for the fact that the tower to come out, that just confirms what I was saying. Wait, what card was that? Justice. Yeah. I'll threaten a divorce or I'll threaten for you to go to jail. Whatever that is. What else is this karmic threatening? If this um, chaser leaves, what else are they threatening to do to the collective's person? Whew. What is this? The strength card. Leo energy and Scorpio energy. This person doesn't believe 
Yeah, six. Ooh, seven of swords, two of cups, four of swords. I'm telling you, this person has like, this person is doing everything they can to hold back from you. I feel like this person is trying to protect you right now. For those of you who haven't talked to this person in a while, they're doing, they, if you haven't talked to this person or communicated with them, I feel like they're doing everything they can to protect you from this. They're holding back from you because they've been threatened. Mm -mm -mm. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, Four of Swords. This person is saying, if you sneak off or go, if you if you accept or do X, Y, and Z with this person that I know you really love, that you're really in love with, like, I'm going to blow your whole shit up. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. This person really wants to reconcile. And I feel like this other person knows that. So show me here one of this. What's this divine masculine's or this chaser's next move towards my collective? What are the next moves towards my collective? Mm. This person's not gonna do anything right now. Pisces energy with the hangman. They're not gonna do anything. They're doing everything they can to see something. Yeah, they're waiting. This person's waiting on finances or something. Seven of Pentacles, the hangman. This person's waiting on money. Stability. Yeah. They don't want to make any impulsive decisions. They're they're yeah, and there goes that damn ace of cups. This person is literally gonna sit back and think very long and hard about how they can get their finances together. They don't want to be impulsive. So this is person this person is gonna hold back hangman, seven of pentacles, and knight of swords and the ace of cups. They're gonna wait until things are they feel until they feel comfortable enough. To make a move. Because, you know, usually the Knight of Swords in certain decks are like somebody moving real swift and fast. And usually the the, the masculine is on the horse and they're moving, right? And in this deck, this, this masculine has gotten off the horse and he's like taming the horse. Like, hold on a second. And that horse looks like distracted. And he's like, no, 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 we're not going that way. We're not, we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to wait. <laughs> We're going to hang out here and think about this very clearly because ultimately we want this Ace of Cups. This person is preparing for a new beginning with you, but they want things to be right. Yeah, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. It may take them a while. I feel like mm, somebody, what is going on here? Hmm. Somebody's going through something real toxic and I feel like somebody's threatening somebody's money. What else does the collective need to know here, please? Page of Cups, not King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a water sign or Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. This King of Pentacles wants to apologize to you. They really do. They want to make a love offer towards you. Hmm. Five of Swords. Man, there's a struggle. There's a power struggle going on in this person's mind. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. <sighs> this person is really trying to figure out what they can do. This person wants to fight is willing to fight for their independence and they're trying to figure out what they can do to have this independence with this Nine of Pentacles and this Five of Swords. Two of Wands. They, I'm telling you, in the back of this person's mind, they are preparing for this. And they know they need to make a decision. They know this decision is going to change the course of their life. The Empress, the Page of Wands. Wow. Five of Wands and the Sun and the Ten of Cups. There's some drama going on in the background here. I don't, yeah, there's definitely some drama going on here. What other deck do I want to use? Let's move on to a different deck, you guys, and see what this is about. Can you show me more here about the situation for the collective, please? 
healthy choices, making healthy choices in love. Twin flame just came out and healthy choices. Someone here wants, wants to actually make a healthier choice. They actually want to be independent. They actually want to be happy. This could also be you saying, I'm going to choose to be happy and, and mind my own business. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? The golden mirror, self-absorbed. One-sided relationship love bombing. This is somebody here realizing either this is you realizing this is not going to work out for you. So you're going to move on, make better decisions for yourself and that this was a one-sided connection or your person is dealing with a narcissist or somebody here who's very vindictive and nasty and they want to make healthier choices. Flip and switch the roles where it belongs to you, where it, feel, where it resonates, okay? This person wants to talk with a coffee cup, but I feel like they're still hiding and holding something back here. They're not really showing their true hand. They're not like expressing to you what the plan is because for some of y'all, most of y'all, this person don't have a plan. They're still trying to figure it out. Healing heart. But see, the thing is with the healing heart and the coffee cup and the mask, Somebody wants freedom from a toxic situation. They definitely want freedom from whatever toxic addiction. Because for some of y'all, this person, like I said, is suppressing their emotions through addiction. And that addiction could be sex. That addiction can be drugs. It can be whatever. Shopping. I don't know. Okay. Flip and switch it. But this person is going about their day with the mask, the coffee cup, and healing. And healing heart. I feel like this person is just masking their emotions. Nobody really knows how this person feels, but if they have a karmic, that karmic knows exactly why this person is like feeling and talking and acting the way they are. This person's disconnected from them. This person, but it's your person's fault though. Let's just be real. You know, I, 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 I hate to say that. Yeah, there's some gossip or some talk going on. Somebody here wants to move on. I feel like this person's talking with their friends about how they want to get have freedom. And look at this, addictions. And hand of cards. Take a risk. Being strategic, which is exactly what we talked about. Not showing their hands. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block or a restraint. I'm just showing you the energy. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, I don't know if this person is going to come out of that energy or not. We know what they want, but for now, that's the energy. Um, that's what, that's what it is. This person's waiting. They've got some attachments. They need, definitely need to heal from. Let's see what you got coming in. What, what can the collective expect dealing with this person? Like what else can the collective expect? I just saw awakening on the bottom of the deck. So maybe this awakening, you're hoping for this person to awaken or they might actually awaken. But I feel like it's going to take this person some time. This is not an over. Ooh, and then as soon as I say that stuck energy. Stuck. Silence barrier. Shift your focus to clear the energy block. Third party. What can the collective expect? Wow, hold on a second. Cycles. You might be stuck in a cycle with this person. If this is not resonating for you, this person is going to continue to be stuck. Like I said, Pisces, hangman energy. <sighs> Man, that's that sucks. What can the collective expect? Now, if this is you, Spirit is saying, don't be stuck in this situation. Learn to have gratitude and appreciate what's happening and what you have in the current moment, regardless of whether or not you and your person are actually together or you're getting what you want, because there are blessings in disguise in this situation. What you want to have is momentum and move forward and come out of that cycle and just understand that all you need to do is to stay grounded in this moment and understand that life moves and ebbs and flows and and in and in cycles and you can come out of this cycle like literally that's what this energy is i'm going to show you it's like people stuck in traffic and appreciation and cycles okay show me what else here for the collective chaser you do not have to run after this person 
you can let them go and let it be and let them come back to you. But only if they've healed do you want to allow this person to come back. I feel like at some point they will chase you. Oh, you're mirroring this person. That's what this is. The two of you are mirroring each other. Yeah, this is definitely a twin flame. You're both in regret. I feel like you're both in regret. You're mirror. I mean, I don't, you know, you may feel some sort of remorse or you might be feeling some form of loss or regret over how you handled the situation or what you accepted or what you allowed or what you dealt with. But spirit wants you to start making empowered choices and they want you to move forward and come out of the cycle. And don't they don't want you to be stuck. They want you to come out of this energy of regret. Yeah, because your outcome is this is good. You're going to get a resolution. You'll see results if you do that here. Show me more about the outcome, please. Show me more about the outcome here. Somebody feels like they've lost something. So much so, and I feel like you and this person feel like you've had a great loss and it's been difficult finding who you are or like trusting and understanding like who you've grown and come to be or like you may have a lack of understanding about your your current identity, right? Because if you're in like a dark night of the soul or you're in your shadow, it's hard to face the mirror. It's hard to face the truth. It's hard to heal. It's not easy. It's not for the weak. But what spirit is telling you here is that there's a hidden path. There's a detour. This was meant for you to slow down and explore and heal and go in a new direction. You're being guided in a new direction. You're being guided down a hidden path that might feel lonely. It might feel desolate. It might feel like you're the only one there or you don't know where you're going or you feel unsure. No. It's meant for you to explore that and be appreciative of where you are now. There's some energy of denial here, you guys. Again, if, this, if you feel like this is not you, then this is your person. This is still, again, energy of repressed emotions. Somebody here is having a hard time digging beneath the surface or digging deep about why they really are feeling the way that they do. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it may feel like for, for you, like, it may feel like, oh, I'm, I'm just tired. But no, you're actually dealing with like the grief and loss of the situation or the person. Dig deep as, as to why you're feeling that. What else? Yeah. For some of you all, it's meant for you. Oh. Right. Okay, hold on. Oh. All right. I feel like there's a hidden gem in this message. And the hidden gem in this message is, like I was saying earlier, the two of you are going through this mirroring. I feel like your mirroring is slightly different as far as like your emotion and attachment to it and detachment from it, right? The outcome, I feel like, is hidden to you. You don't know. You may be expecting something, but what you don't understand right now is it's meant for you to actually be on a break and allow this stuff to happen naturally. It's meant for you to come out of the stuck energy and just appreciate for where you are right now and learn the lessons so you can come out of this cycle and just understand that this goes with ebb and flows and just stay grounded in the now energy, right? And focus on your career, focus on your stability. For some of you, all that means focus on your business, focus on your career success, focus on whatever it is where you are where you stake your claim in the world, focus on you yourself and that and those goals. And then that union will come. That reconciliation will come. Literally this card, this, these two cards that came out say that big goals and union. So I feel like once you, you know, work on this stuff here, this is going to, this reconciliation is going to come and you may not understand that or see that right now with this hidden path because what's on the bottom of the deck is blessings. Okay, this says protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you. So you are being divinely protected. Like this is meant for you to be going on this journey, even though you may not understand it. I feel like a lot of you are going through some form of a, a death of an ego. Okay. Somebody here has been in self-preservation mode. You got to come out of that self-preservation mode. Some of you all are going to be traveling here very recently here. 
just make sure you're staying centered and grounded because I feel like there's a lot of confusion and, and feeling of loneliness or feeling abandoned or lost. Spirit wants you to know that the divine is with you. Yeah, somebody's self-esteem and ego is just shot. Yeah, they're sh it's shot. Divine Feminine, you're in the energy of fertility here. And I feel like something here is meant for you to happen. Like, like you're going to get some form of abundance or money or something here. I feel like divine feminine, you're gonna you, you're gonna step into <sighs> energy of fertility, okay? Creating um, abundance. It's not gonna be easy. It doesn't mean you're not gonna mirror or regret certain things or like have a hard time dealing with certain things or have good days or bad days, right? But even if you just write in a journal, today I am grateful for waking up this morning. You know, that is a start. So practice gratitude and appreciation and focus on, you know, those things that we just talked about. But that's going to be your reading, you guys. Hit the like button. And until next time, love you. Bye.